Good morning. I'm excited uh, to start this TikTok uh, training today, but I wanted to uh, tell folks I had a conversation with a colleague this morning about some anti-racism training that they're going to be doing and uh, some of the resources that I was promoting to them. And uh, I was giving them the Deconstructing Karen, the first contact from ATP APTN, and the White Fragility book from a white author is kind of a starting point for that anti-racism training. And I've said this not just to my colleague, but to other folks, that if you're only devoting a one-time event, 10 minutes in some cases as a check mark, and you're not devoting a minimum two hours a month to your anti-Indigenous bias, you're not doing the work, you're doing performative work. Um, but I also try to remind people, you know, I have the same standard for myself. I'm a temporarily abled, um, able-bodied, straight, cis, uh, have a pronounceable name. I was raised in an anti-black, anti-immigrant, anti-Semitic environment. So I expect myself to devote that same amount of time to unpack those things. Uh, just as I expect non-Indigenous to unpack their anti-Indigenous uh, racism or bias. So, you know, it, it's something we all have to do. Uh, and as Indigenous people, we have a healing journey we're open about. The most liberating thing about being Indigenous is that I can be honest about how unhealthy this environment is. So it, deconstructing, decolonizing, has been a blessing to me in so many ways. I wish non-Indigenous would see it as a blessing that would help them. And I wish immigrants, um, refugees, folks who come from a slave background would see that implementing the Truth and Reconciliation Commission calls to action, the calls to justice from the National Inquiry on missing and murdered Indigenous women, girls, and Two-Spirit would help society as a whole, not just us. And the fact that we're always othered is your anti-Indigenous bias. So, you know, thank you for joining me on my journey. Uh, I will come into your offices and tell your bosses the same thing. And I hope that, uh, you know, folks are understand the gravity of what we need to do for real meaningful reconciliation. As two cops who arrested a grandfather and a granddaughter in Vancouver couldn't even be bothered to go to a healing ceremony last night. So thank you for following me on my journey. Masi Cho.